In this video, I will demonstrate how to create an ME31K transaction automation script with Inware's Process Runner. Here I have a set of data for several contracts that I need to create. I'm just going to minimize this Excel spreadsheet. Now I'm going to double click on Process Runner. Process Runner is a standalone application. You can install it on a desktop, a server, Citrix, NVIDIA, VMware, Hyper-V, and best of all, nothing needs to be installed on your SAP backend. Now I'm just going to click on the new button here from the start page of Process Runner. Now I can select from Process Runner's four technologies. And since we're going to be creating a transaction automation script, I'm going to keep it at the default transaction technology. Type in ME31K. Now I'm going to click the start recording button. Now I can log into any SAP system across my SAP landscape. So I can start out in my quality environment, my sandbox environment, and then later on when I'm ready to run the script in a production environment, I just simply select the production SAP system. No importing, exporting necessary here. Just simply log in. Now I'm going to be using a traditional username and password, but this will work with SSO1, SSO2, HTTP, HTTPS, as well as enterprise portal and single sign-on applications as well. Now Process Runner is going to be recording at an API level. So I'm just going to bring up Excel in the background here so it makes it easy for me to see my data. Now I could surf the internet, I could surf the web, that would not be recorded. Only the screens that I navigate and the fields on those screens are recorded. So I'm going to start out here with the, my vendor account number, the agreement type, The agreement date, now I'm going to go down to purchasing organization here and we have purchasing group and then down here to plant, the storage location and the material group. Now that I've all got all of my data for this screen, I'm going to hit enter here. And I'm just going to click enter again due to this warning message here. Now I'm taken into this create contract header data screen. From here, I'm going to enter the validity start date. And then the validity end date. Now I've got this target value here, and then if I move the SAP interface over here, we've got this terms of payment key. Then I'm going to go down here to the quotation date, and then finally down here to the different invoicing party, that's just in case I do have a different invoicing party. And now that that's done, again, I'm going to click enter here. Now I'm taken to the item overview screen. Now I'm going to start out with the first line item. And we have the target quantity. And then finally the net price. So I'm just going to slide this data over a little bit so that you can see it. I'll put in that net price now. All right, now I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. Now I'm going to go to the second line item. Here I'm going to type in the 20 and I just need to scroll back a bit here for that material. Then again the target quantity. And finally, the net price. All right, and now that that's done, I'm going to hit enter again. And now some of the key parts to this recording. I'm now going to select this select all items. And then from here, I'm going to go to enter lines. 
And now I'm going to click the Save button. Now I'm done with this recording process. So I'll just name this ME31K demo. So I can save it anywhere to my hard drive or network. I'm just going to keep it in this default folder here. Now I'm going to be taken into what's called the Mapper tab of Process Runner. And this is where I map the data according to my Excel data template. So right now this is an internal instance of Excel. We call this the iBook. Process Runner has generated this template for me. So if you go to the iBook tab, you can see that. But this isn't going to work for my data set. So what I'm going to do here from this drop down, I'm going to select External Excel. Now I just find that ME31K Excel file. Now this is just a little refresh action here. Now I can view the data from that ME31K Excel spreadsheet. So now I'm going to complete my mapping here. So I have the vendor account number is coming from A, the agreement type from B, the agreement date from C, purchasing organization is D, purchasing group is E, the plant F, storage location G, and the material group H. Now I'm just going to slide this down a little bit. My start of validity period is I, end of validity period is J. Now this uh, terms of payment key, this is actually L, so I'm just going to do, just going to drag and drop here, switch that to L, and then if I scroll down here, now I need to change that cumulative plan. So cumulative planned value now is going to be K, so I've just switched those to match my data set. Then we have the quotation submission date is M, the different invoicing party is N, and I'll just scroll over a little bit here. And then we now get into our line item data here. So what we need to do, the key to the mapping for this transaction, for the first line item, we're not going to set up any looping. But for the second and additional line items, we need to set up looping. That's the key for mapping the transaction for ME31K. Normally with Process Runner, you can set up looping from the first line item but there are some transactions where you need to loop starting from the second line item and this is one of those cases. So here I have my agreement item coming from O, my material number from P, target quantity Q, net price and purchasing document R. Then I just need to remap this for the second and further line items. So I'm just going to very quickly do that again just using the drag and drop feature of Process Runner. And so now that that is mapped I'm going to now set up the looping and again this is starting at the second line item. So now I'm clicking on my mouse and selecting now the start loop. Process Runner will automatically set up the end loop just before the save. So in a lot of cases uh, you're not going to need to make any modifications of this. Unless you're doing something such as a nested loop you may need to move that end loop around. But usually you can go with the default where it sets up just before the save button. So now that that is set up, the key now is the block type. And so the default with Process Runner is on value, ignore blank, and it sets it to column A. And so we can just take a look at that and, and see if this will work for us. So if I scroll over in my data, what this means is on value, ignore blank in column A, it's going to initiate the looping process on this value. It's going to ignore these blanks and then it will end the looping process once it encounters another value. So that will work perfectly for us. You do have some other options here and just for the sake of time I'm not going to go into a full training on these. We have further information available on the blocking types from the help section of Process Runner. Now another critical part of this is this block type. So this states header plus line item. Now if I was setting up the looping process from my first line item then this would be appropriate because I have header data as well as line item data together on the same line. But because I'm starting the looping process from the second line item data, this is actually line item only, it does not involve any header data. So these second, the second line item, no header data, so I need to change this to line item only. And let's just set this block type up again here, make sure that that is set. 
So we have on value ignore blank. And then we have uh, these for line item only. So now I'm going to save this and I'm going to go over to my home tab. Now I'm going to set an end row and I can make that as high a uh, number as I want as Excel is the 1.3 million row limit. Now I'm just going to press the run button here and log into SAP and we'll just see if this script is working properly. So far it's looking pretty good. There's my SAP messaging writing directly to the Excel spreadsheet. Let's take a look at the second contract here as it has a large number of line items. So I'm going to bring up SAP here. Just put in ME put in ME33. And now we'll fill in the agreement number. In this case, it's going to be ending digit of digits of 55. And we'll just display this here. And there you can see uh, each of these line items. So I was successfully able to set up a loop. So again, the whole key with ME31K is just be sure to loop starting from your second line item and do normal mapping for the first line item. Now what I can also do with Process Runner is I can actually embed this script right into that Excel workbook and this will allow an end user to be able to execute this ME31K script right from Excel. So Excel can be the interface to SAP and an end user would not even be required to have Process Runner installed on their computer. They just simply need to have a Process Runner Excel add-in license. So what I'm going to do here is from this drop-down, I'm going to select Save as Excel Add-in Ready File. And this just shows me that uh, ME31K workbook, that ME31K Excel file. This shows the script that's going to get embedded into the workbook. Now I'm going to click on Generate here. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to close out of Process Runner. Let's close out of here completely. Now let's just go just, uh, clear out SAP here. Let's, here's that ME31K Excel spreadsheet. Maximize this here. Go to the Process Runner Excel Add-in tab. There you can see that that script has been successfully embedded in this workbook. So what I'm going to do now, let's just delete this messaging here. And we'll just run this now from Excel. So again, Excel now is the interface to SAP. My end user doesn't even have to have Process Runner installed on their computer. And so there's the first uh, contract created. I had a start row and end row of two to five. So let me increase this and we'll just run the script here again for all of these additional contracts. There you can see uh, the contracts have been successfully created. And so that's just a little bonus for you. wanted to show you if you use our Process Runner Excel add-in that you can embed those scripts directly into Excel. Thank you for watching. And if you'd like to learn more about Process Runner, please continue to navigate our website at inawera.com. And if you would like further assistance utilizing Process Runner, you can always contact us at support at And then also you can look in our help section from Process Runner directly.